Welcome to the Sea Weezy Sports Picks Podcast. This is Chris Wise. I am your host. And welcome to the 2021 PGA season kickoff podcast with your boy C. Weezy. I got some sports betting picks for you. I got some plays that I like to play in the PGA tournament events that we have coming up. And that's going to be kicking off this Thursday. Let's do a recap real quick. We just finished the NFL playoffs and Super Bowl. What a run that we had. Um, taking the Tampa Bay Bucks every single round, cashing that ticket, believing in Tom Brady. I'm telling you right now, it's like Bama. It's Brady. You do not bet against him. He's the greatest of all time. It's spectacular what he's done at 43 years old, going down to Tampa, winning a Super Bowl. It felt so great to be on that side of the play. Took a week off, have a little break, and here we go. It is golf in NBA season. It is time to grind. I do believe it's very hard to do this every single day, multiple sports, and make a living out of it. Some people do it. They post it out there. It's very difficult for me. I think that you need to take these events and treat them like little spurts. Great times that I love to have a little bankroll and to try to profit is all playoffs, right? NFL playoffs, NBA playoffs, NHL playoffs, MLB playoffs, March Madness, all the masters for the golf and really throughout the golf season. Um, Once it gets to February, about this time right now is when we like to jump in and ride the wave until football starts. Any big fights, boxing, MMA, you want to sprinkle a little bit on it. But to bet the NBA every single day, college basketball every single day, NHL, MLB. There's so many games in a season. For me, I've got so much better value when I took my bankroll and I made an investment when playoffs started. I do like to bet NBA. I do not bet college basketball until conference tournaments or March Madness, and it's very small. That's just not what I like. That's not my best sports. My best sports are NFL first, PGA, NBA second. I do love big MMA fights, uh, big boxing matches, March Madness, things like that might dabble in. Um, But NFL is finished. Now it's time for PGA and NBA. I'm going to dabble a little bit in the PGA tournament. Reason why is because there's a lot of bets that I like right? You have four days to cash tickets on those bets. It's not a one day thing. Say you're taking the Brooklyn Nets in NBA and you're gambling on them four or five times a week. Now, some you might go three and two and make a small return. What I love about PGA is that almost all bets are plus money on these bets. I love looking at top five finishes, top 10 finishes, top 20 finishes, is usually all plus money. Unless you get top 20 and you got some of the favorites in there, it's going to be about even money. I love those bets. Outright winner, I think you sprinkle a little bit. That can't be part of your bankroll. It is so hard to hit an outright winner. Um, You do want a little bit of juice on it so you can get a big reward, but you don't want to be betting the same amount that you're betting on these other bets. It's all about your money management. But I love those bets. Also, tournament matchups. That way you're betting against one player for the entire weekend. You're not betting one player against the field. I also love group betting. It's five players. It's on my bookie. That's what I use. When you do group betting, it's five players. And here's an example. They're all plus money. Now the top tier is going to be Dustin Johnson, Roy, uh, Shafley, John Rom, Justin Thomas. You got DJ at plus 170, Roy plus 380, Xander plus 500, John Ram, Rom uh, plus 380, and Justin Thomas plus 450. Well, what does that mean? If you bet $100, you're winning, you know, 170. Um, but if you bet $100 on Xander, you win 500. Um, it's a great investment. It is what I like to call plus money. So those are what I am targeting 
on my PGA plays every week that you can get. Send me a DM, $35 for the tournament. I promise you, this is great value. I study this. I love this. I can only make money if you guys are hitting winners and I'm picking winners. I love this. Jump on board while you can. Also love round matchups, first round, second round, third round, and final round. The weekend is going to be so exciting. This field is freaking stacked. It's going to be a fun weekend. We have eight of the world's top 10 players playing in this field. It is a par 71 playing at 7,300 yards. A um, little recap of the winners so far this year in January and February. You have Harris English uh, at the Century Tournament in Hawaii. You had Kevin Nahn win at the Sony, Sony Open in Hawaii. Patrick Reed, um, and you heard about the jabber there, at the Farmers Insurance Open in California. We had Brooks go ahead and get a, a win. Can't believe how well he played on Sunday to take that tournament down at the Waste Management in Arizona. And then last week, I told you if you follow me on the IG on Saturday night, that I thought Daniel Berger, sprinkle a little bit on it, plus 550 to win the tournament. He cast that ticket at Pebble Beach Pro-Am in California, getting an eagle on 18 to clinch it. What a phenomenal round he had. He's playing really well. Over the last three years, I would say, he has really jumped up there to be in the conversation as a top 10, top 15 uh, player year in, year out on, on the PGA. So, for the tournaments, what kind of value do we like to look at for outright winners? For me, this week, my bookie has the odds at Dustin Johnson favored at plus 550. And then you have Roy, plus 1,100. John Rahm, plus 1,200. Justin Thomas, plus 1,200. Cantley, plus 1,400. Bryson, plus 1,600. Um, there's a lot of huge names. This is a stacked um, field here. When I look for outright winners, it has to be over uh, plus 1,000. Um, I really like to look over plus um, 1,500 or more. I mean, you're getting some bang for your buck. You can sprinkle $50 on it, cash out 750 or close to 1,000. That is a, a great return. Um, you don't want to be betting the house on that $200. That's all I got to bet. Money management, little bitty bets on outright winners. It is really hard to hit that. And then some, some players like to sprinkle, you know, take $25 bet and pick four players. Um, that way, all players that you take a bet on are plus 1,000. So you're going to get in return 250. You're going to make money to over $200 or more if you hit one of those players. Um, it's, it's nice to have it for the tournament. Um, like I said, it's money management. I would not have those huge bets. Those are small little bets. Like we talked about, when you take an outright winner, I think you need to have a little back door on it. Take a top 10 finish. Take a top 20 finish. I love top 20 finishes. Ties and everything goes in there. Um, you can get great value. If you like a player, you can get them plus 200, plus 250, um, and root for that all weekend. Um, like I said, that's top five, top 10. Um, obviously, top five fin uh, pays a lot better, almost like an outright winner. Hard to hit. There's only five spots up there. Um, but a top 10, top 20 play, those are great value. It's plus money on all those bets. For the group betting, you get those five players. Now, I gave you the, the top one uh, the first time, but let's scroll down here a little bit. Here we have a group right here. You got Bubba Watson, Max Homer, Kevin Nahn, um, Neiman and Carlos Ortiz. The lowest one is Watson. He's plus 220. So bet that for the tournament. You're just picking Bubba Watson to beat those other four guys for the entire tournament. You get double your value. You bet 100, you'll get back $220. You bet Kevin Nahn, he's plus 550. Bet 100, get back $550. He doesn't have to beat a lot of people. He doesn't have to finish top 20. All he has to do is beat these other four players that are grouped in there. Again, this is at my bookie. Um, I love bets like that for the PGA Tour Championship. Um, great value, like I said. Um, guys, I, I think you got to have your spurts. You have to keep an Excel spreadsheet. You have to do this 
more than just, I'm going to just fire away every single day. That is not how you're going to be positive. That's not how you're going to know how your bets are doing. You need to be strategic about this. It doesn't need to be 15 bets every single night. If you hit eight of them, you hit a lot of bets. It's hard to hit one bet. You don't need to be firing away 15 bets in one night. Condense it. Money management. Bet five to three bets. Be for sure about it. Maybe put a little bit more money on it. And then keep track of that. Keep track of your teasers, your parlays, your straight bets, your player props, uh, whatever it is. Keep track of you of separately. So you got your NBA plays, you got your PGA plays, and they those are separate. You need to break it down on how many times have I bet outright winner on how much did I risk and have I won any of them? And if you haven't, maybe scale away from that. You might have fun doing that, but you're not, you're not picking winners. Now put those in top 20, top 10, see how many of those that you cash. Sometimes they have a great week and they have a shot. Um, my boy took Jordan Spieth last week. He had a shot going into Sunday. Tremendous value, plus 2250, I believe, something like that. Um, he didn't quite get it done, um, but he had great value. Um, in that so you got to keep track of that see sports picks if you haven't already go give me a like give me a follow be safe out there in this cold weather here in dallas texas but it is time to grind nba pga we do it all baby dm me get your picks on the low very cheap you can't beat this value let's get it